Namaste and welcome to another episode of our Tarot Fortnightly Reading. I'm here on Nilakshi with the famous tarot card expert Rashmi. Welcome. Hi. And we are going to tell all you sun signs what is in store for each one of you this fortnight. So let us begin with Aries. Okay, so Aries, the first card for you says suspicion. So that's not good news because somebody is eyeing you and somebody maybe even spying on you and looking at you with suspicion. Mm -hmm. So you need to be very careful. But be alert. There's a beautiful card that follows because some good uh, communication, some good news is going to come to you. And be alert. Why I say? Because there could be some new opportunity coming to you which you may not even be aware of. So be, uh, you know, keep your ears tuned to any information and young ones are going to make you happy so could be your child could be your daughter and for some of you uh, you know they're going to make you happy but for some of you you need to be looking after uh, either your sibling or maybe your daughter or your somebody who's young you need to look after in the sense they could be in a emotional drained emotionally drained mm -hmm. situation because there's a card of emotion and there's a young card so uh, be careful of your young ones some of them uh, like I said, to bring you a lot of happiness too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so also uh, get li uh, rid of the clutter in the south. So especially in your workspace, south direction, you must uh, clean away and keep it absolutely spick and span. That is going to bring you, like I said, you going to have a new opportunity coming up. So that is good luck when you clear out your south. Okay, great. So let's see what's in store for Taurus. So uh, Taurians, uh, there's a beautiful card. Some of you are tying the knot, and some of you are even signing that contract. So the contract could be in your personal front. It could be in your work front, your business, and uh, so business is great. It's looking up. Things are looking up because one phase is ending and a new one is beginning. So uh, you know this card literally means the you know the period that you've been through of a lot of strife and struggle. All that is coming to an end. So embrace the new. And of course, it will be a little uncertain this period because you're not really sure what's happening in the new phase or in the new uh, innings or the new venture you've taken up or something new that is coming up. There is uncertainty, hmm. but then that is inevitable. So embrace that as well and follow your own judgment. Listen to your own mind and your logic. Okay. So that's all for you Taurus. Now let's see what's in store for Gemini. Geminians are a little disappointed in love. So the love scenario, it's a little disappointing for some of you, not for all of you. And uh, for some of you, the project that is ongoing, it's taking a little time, it's going a little slow. So uh, you can see it's inverted. But this is surely coming to you, you know, uh, either it's coming to completion or some money that was coming to you or something you had to, uh, you know, get out of uh, this project, something you have to accrue mm -hmm. that is coming to you but is coming a little slow. So have the patience because there is also the hope card, the star card which means um, good luck in a way and uh, one of your you know wishes coming true. And meditate with crystals. So if you can explain to us how to meditate with crystals. So you can actually just start with holding a crystal in your hand. Of course you will cleanse it and we have a whole video on that. But once you hold a crystal in your hand, the qualities of a particular crystal, like if it's rose, rose quartz, all the love and warmth will come into you. If you're holding onto a lapis lazuli, the blue one, your communication gets better. So just hold it in your palm, in your right or left palm and put and it in your lap and just relax with it and let it come into your body. That was good. That was great. So uh, let's see the next sign. Should we go Cancer. to the next? Cancer. Cancer. That's yours. So a uh, travel plan. And also, not only a travel plan, if it's um, uh, not travel, it's going on to the next level. This could also mean going on to the next level. Also, one thing being completed and getting on to another thing. Mm -hmm. So, you are at the verge of completion. So, mm -hmm. it's it's really a very good card. It's the world card, you know. And it also means exposure. It could also mean communication from overseas. It could mean many things. It's a, a, a very auspicious card to get. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also a proposal coming uh, your way. I think for the past few fortnights we've been just seeing love and romance and proposals yeah. coming. <laughs> so I think you should be flooded with <laughs> with offers. 
expect a solution unexpectedly. Mm -hmm. you know? So uh, there could be a problem, an ongoing problem for which you will find a solution and most unexpectedly. Which, uh, which is good because you won't have to do much about it. It will just happen to you. It will just, you know, it'll, it's like a, Euro, a Eureka moment that mm -hmm. you have, you know. So, And also you're going to be rewarded and awarded for something. So maybe something connect, connected to this uh, particular solution which I was talking about, this uh, Eureka moment. So for this you can be awarded and you'll get recognition. So this is definitely on your work front. That's okay. that this... Uh, problem and uh, family life is heightened and uh, you also have this card where there can be some movement so again at your work front some movement maybe shifting of uh, responsibility shifting of a job a higher position you know all that sort of thing is in the offing mm -hmm. and uh, avoid avoid unnecessary stress so uh, I think you could tell them about some meditation because Scorpios need it at this point of time. Okay, so Scorpions, you can always begin with a de-stressing meditation, which we already have on our channel. Now, what you do is you just breathe in the light and clear away every cord that has been holding on to you, and one by one, you can release it and feel lighter at the end of this. Okay, so do try it. Okay, so now let's till we get on to uh, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. So Sagittarians don't let anger get the better of you. In fact, they say when. Uh, when you need to achieve something uh, through your communication, try and be more persuasive. When you are calmer and more persuasive, you can achieve much more than with angry words. Mm -hmm. You know, anger, angry words can in fact destruct something. Yeah. So if you want to construct something and you know really get what you want and achieve that uh, particular thing, so just mind your words. And uh, though, of course, I'm not saying that you should not protect your own ground. You have to uh, stick to your principles and stick to what you really uh, think is right. Yeah. And then there's this card of, uh, you know, strength and feeling strong and being in a powerful position. So uh, what I'm trying to say is be persuasive, be tactful, and that will win you the day. Mm -hmm. right? And unnecessary worry. It's in your mind. So if you are worried about a certain thing, just try and uh, think positive, think positive affirmations. Mm. Because worry will actually make something which is going right uh, in a negative uh, you know, way. Mm. Mm. And then uh, the negative really can manifest. Yes. And you know affirmations are a very powerful thing. You know, it changes how your reality starts looking. And we do have a video about that. So do take a look at it. So, uh, so you go to the next sign. Yes, Capricorns. Capricornians. Wow. So uh, you have the lucky card, the luck card. So luck is on your, lady luck is on your side. Plus you're taking some time away. You know, there has been uh, a lot of, uh, this card says, suggests that, you know, a challenging situation. You've come out of a challenging situation, uh, maybe a competition, maybe some uh, work which, you know, where you were really hands on. So, you know, you were very alert and, you know, all there. So, now you're taking some time away. And then, like I said, you have a good luck card too. Right? And uh, imagine uh, a green light. Now, you need to be meditating with a green light. So, therefore, you will meditate on your heart chakra. Heart chakra. And also, you can, if you believe in angels, then you can call upon Archangel Raphael to help you. Yeah. So, also, appreciate the small things of life. Sometimes if somebody just gives me even a flower or a rose, I feel so happy. Yes. So small things, uh, you know, look around and see the small things with it that make you happy. Mm -hmm. you, you feel mm -hmm. so good. Mm -hmm. Don't Counting you. your blessings. Yes. Also, that's another way of putting it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next uh, sign is? Aquarius. Aquarians, you see what goes around, comes around. So, and also, it's completed a full circle. You know, life also completes a full cycle, as they say. So you are exactly where you started. Hmm. So sometimes that's a feeling of dejection because you come back to where you were, hmm. you know. But remember also this is karmic and therefore what goes around comes around. So do good as much good as you can so that you reap a lot of benefit. Hmm. Okay? And uh, you're struggling on the money front uh, but not to worry because one card says that something is the pipeline, something is 
coming for you. So uh, you're making do with what you have, which is great, but look forward to something even better. And don't be gullible. Don't get taken in hmm. by somebody. And also uh, don't get taken in in a, in a venture or a, you know, a new project that you're starting. You have to be very, very uh, decisive and discerning. More than anything else, be discerning and then only get into this one. And yes, the south uh, direction is not good for you. So if you are thinking of traveling or doing something in the south, avoid that this time. Okay. In fact, uh, I would say light, light a dia in the south. Okay. That should help negate this period of when the south is not good for you. Okay. So should we go to the next sign? Yes, Pisces. Pisces. So Pisces, be honest and clear in your relationship, especially in the relationship front. If you want things to go on well, you need to open up. Don't keep things bottled in you, you know, and that in any case builds frustration. So I want, uh, what I'm trying to say is, my advice is that come out with it, you know, so be honest and uh, also somebody is trying to maybe, uh, you know, control you. So try and keep away from that influence. Don't be controlled. And yes, the money front is uh, good because you're feeling steady and stable after some time because you know you have some made some wise investments, maybe some things uh, which were uh, you know not bringing you results and now to bring results. So now money is coming in. So all is good. Awesome. Or, yeah. I see. Yeah. Okay. So that was this fortnight's tarot card reading for all the sun sign. If any of you out there have any questions, we would be happy to answer it. You can message us and we'll book a comfortable slot for you. And uh, do not forget to like, share, comment on this video and subscribe to us to support us. So that's all for this fortnight reading. Stay tuned with us for more of these readings for our next fortnight. Thank you everyone. Namaste.